हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ बीएससी पार्ट सेकंड बायो इन पेपर सेकंड इन द चैप्टर एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट थायराइड ग्लैंड द थायराइड ग्लैंड इज पार्ट ऑफ द एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम एंड प्रोड्यूसेस द थायराइड हार्मोन्स व्हिच आर इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द मेटाबॉलिक ग्रोथ the thyroid is a bilobed organ as we can see here in the diagram it is a bilobed organ which is situated on the lower part of the neck ventral to the trachea and immediately behind the larynx it has two lobes one and two it has two lobes which are joined together by a narrow bridge known as the isthmus this gives the gland the appearance of the letter h and it also looks like a butterfly histologically it consists of acne or vesicles which are lined with the cuboidal epithelium the lumen of these acne is filled with the proteinaceous colloidal secretion thyroglobin the thyroid gland produces three hormones t3 which is the triiodothyronine the tetraiodothyronine which is the thyroxine or as we call it t4 and calcitonin strictly speaking the t3 and t4 are the proper thyroid hormones they are made in what are known as the follicular epithelial cells of thyroid iodine is one of the main building blocks for both the hormones t3 and t4 our bodies cannot produce this trace element iodine therefore we need to get enough of this in our diet iodine is absorbed in our blood stream from the food that we eat it is then carried to the thyroid gland where it is eventually used to make thyroid hormones now what are the functions of these thyroid hormones the thyroid hormones are necessary because an adequate supply is essential for the normal development and growth of the body the thyroid hormones are also responsible for the maintenance of healthy hair and healthy skin they accelerate the oxygen consumption by the cells energy production and the basal metabolic rate that is they are calorogenic in action they influence heat production during the catabolism of food stuffs in the cells and they also increase the intestinal absorption of glucose glycogenolysis deamination and gluconeogenesis in liver cells then they enhance the rate of heartbeat and blood pressure they are associated with the nerve stability and control the excitability of the nerve fibers the thyroid hormones are also essential for metamorphosis in amphibians and they regulate the reproduction and cellular physiology now the abnormalities of the thyroid functions the thyroid gland it, the functions may be like hypersecretion and hyposecretion less secretion of thyroid hormones or more secretion of thyroid hormone in the case of hyposecretion when there is a deficiency of thyroid hormones this produces a number of clinical disorders which depend on the degree of the deficiency and the age at which it occurs now in the adult life and in infancy if we see hyposecretion in infancy at the, in childhood it leads to a phenomena disease known as creatinine creatinism what is this the characteristics are it 
the lack of skeletal development which results in deformed bones and stunted body growth the mental deficiency due to abnormal development of nervous system then there is a large protruding tongue from the sagging mouth and pot bellied abdomen the bmr is lowered which is accompanied by slow pulse and slow respiration rate the sex organs and sexual secondary sexual characters become retarded in adult life the hyposecretion leads to gulls disease or myxoedema the bmr the body temperature the pulse rate they are all lowered and there is undue sensitivity to cold there is considerable general oedema particularly manifested by the puffiness of face and hands this is because of the thickening of the skin by the deposition of albuminium semi fluid material underneath the skin becomes coarse and dry and there is loss of hair anemia and slowing down of the physical and mental reactions and the sexual development is also retarded it also leads to a disease known as simple goiter the hyposecretion leads to simple goiter it is a deficiency disease which is caused by the inadequate supply of iodine in diet a simple goiter is fairly prevalent in countries such as switzerland and the himalayan regions where the iodine content of water and soil is low in this disease there is a pathological enlargement of the gland the thyroid gland which protrudes as a marked swelling in the neck this enlargement is believed to be because of over stimulation of the gland by the thyrotropic hormone which is secreted by the anterior pituitary because of the absence of the breaking or the feedback inhibition of the thyroid hormone since only small amounts of iodine are necessary for formation of thyroid hormones the treatment with iodine or with iodized salt is adequate for cases of simple goiter now the hypersecretion but the hypersecretion of thyroid hormones this condition generally occurs in the adult life and is also referred to as hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis this is also known as the exophthalmic goiter or the graves disease the chief symptoms of hypersecretion are the basal metabolic rate is greatly increased and the individual appears to be literally burning himself up there is a raised nervous excitability restlessness anxiety which is accompanied by fatigue muscular weakness tremors and loss of weight there is an increase in the heart rate and pulse rate with a corresponding increase in respiration rate and copious sweating there is increased body temperature with excessive sweating and there is a characteristic protrusion of the eye balls with the staring look it appears as if the individual is staring usually accompanied this usually accompanies the hyper thyroidism this protrusion of the eyeballs is thought to be due to the increased post orbital pressure and possible weakening of the extrinsic muscles of the eye as a result of excessive thyroid stimulating hormone now this figure shows the functions of 
T3 and T4 how it affects the various organs and what are its functions and this shows the foods for thyroid the good and the bad that we eat and how it affects our thyroid gland this this portion is the good food which is good for thyroid and this is the portion these food these are the bad for thyroid so today we studied the hormones and their functions of thyroid gland in the next class we will take up another endocrine gland and its functions